especially. From the times of Ian Botham, for whom Sir Len Hutton once said, the greatest rock and roll cricketer, to Derek Randall, whose batting style was described by some Australians as an octopus having piles. <laughs> Cricket has been fun. There's Abdul Qadir, Inzamam ul Haq, and Indians have had their fair share as well with uh, Krishna Machari Shrikant. I happened to be at the World Cup imitating lots of cricketers. It was fun in the World Cup because you actually got to imitate cricketers along with the cricketers. So I asked Chika, I said, uh, Chika, what's the plot with so much of sinusitis, you know, a little bit of attention span? How did you manage to score so many runs? Chika had a straight answer. What are you saying, Macha? I got talent, Macha. If talent is there, anything is possible. All this picture report and everything is absolutely useless. Just, just go and hit the ball, Macha. All this, all this natak you don't do, okay? Cricket is a game of great uncertainties. I agree, after seeing Shrikant. So Neville Card has said that cricket is definitely a game of great uncertainties, unless you have a Bradman. So I was there at the World Cup with all the characters, Tony Gregg especially. Now Tony Gregg, I'll start with a Tony Gregg Sachin Tendulkar interview. But before that, a little bit about Tony Gregg. Tony Gregg is the god of hype. He'll take a little bit, little small thing, and he'll dramatize it so much it's unbelievable. Now what he does with Sachin Tendulkar is he creates this whole aura. So sometimes I think that half of Tendulkar's success is Tony Gregg's. <laughs> this is how he does it. So you're in a state of depression, you switch on the TV. Oh well, it's all happening here. Sachin Tendulkar's on four. He smashed them all over the place. I can tell you this is absolutely wonderful. All those people who are watching the telecast live on Max will be dancing in their lounges because they have never seen a greater batsman like this before. Then the shot. Oh, what a shot over the top. He's dancing down to his extra cover. It's a four start field into the fence. She goes. Sachin Tendulkar is the greatest batsman in the world. By this time, the next ball Sachin has hit a straight six. It's absolutely simple, but see the drama. Oh, it's in the air, he's got him, no, he's got him, no, that's a six, no, that's the biggest six. Sachin Tendulkar is creating history out here. I can tell you, all those people are pretty, getting pretty noisy. They will be getting noisy as well tomorrow. And Sachin Tendulkar is absolutely wonderful. Now, in all of this, Sachin probably is unaware that this is happening on air. So, uh, if somebody would have, you know, you know, given me so much of uh, building, brand building, I would have probably done something different. Here is Sachin. In all of this, he comes out of that small ground, 60,000 people, all looking there. <laughs> and then the stands. <laughs> Can you imagine bowling to him? Thank you. Thank you. So Tony Gregg says, wonderful batting performance. Sachin, you've been absolutely wonderful. The last one, absolutely brilliant. What do you think of this, uh, today's your wonderful performance? Yeah, I thought uh, most definitely I thought the wicket was great. <laughs> At the end of the day, what matters is that we play well as a team. And uh, I think the ball was coming on to the bat initially, but I thought uh, uh, we played well as a team. <laughs> Well, Sachin, that's an understatement. It's pretty humid out there. The ploy comfort level is of vital importance in these one-day matches. And I can tell you, you played a wonderful knock amidst these conditions. Yeah, I thought uh, the ball was coming on to the bat uh, initially a little slowly. But uh, Dr. Chadda takes great care of us. So, uh, you know, Anil and Robin also have contributed a lot. And at the end of the day, what matters is that we play better cricket than them. <laughs> Now to Tony Gregg's hype, Muhammad Azruddin had a terse answer. He didn't care what the other guy was speaking. So Muhammad Azruddin, risky ploy, his anything outside Alexa some I can tell you, has a, is an absolute god. So Azza, what do you think of uh, today's performance? Yeah, I mean the boys played when the right spirit of the game and the boys kept it cool and <laughs> most important is we keep a cool and that's the way to play. Now, now just check this answer. So, Mohammed Azruddin, tomorrow is a very important match. India versus Australia. There's Ponting, Gilchrist, I can tell you, they're wonderful players. What is your strategy for tomorrow's match? You know, exactly what are you going to do? I don't want to bat well, bowl well, and field well, that's what important. 
There was a very funny incident about Michael holding. Adam Gilchrist was batting, and you know, anything pitch short, Gal Gilchrist will make sure that he'll uh, play the ball on the leg side. So suddenly, you could see Adam Gilchrist hooking one shot. We're a good player, Adam Gilchrist. No doubt at 81 at the moment, in 100 balls. With a batting average of 80, totally under control, no doubt about that. He's batting like a West Indian. The West Indian of 75, 76 were a bunch of great hookers. <laughs> I think Adam Gilchrist is a good hooker as well. And I'm telling you, he's giving people their money's worth. <laughs> By this time, I had died. But no wonder they called him Whispering Death. <laughs> now come to an interesting character, Jeffrey Boycott. I think I'll try the black hat. Boycott, I think, uh, sometimes he goes a little overboard. Some, somebody like Carl Hooper, which I think is a decent amount of bowling he's done, and he's quite okay, 100 plus wickets. I tell you, absolutely rubbish. <laughs> Every time I tell you, Baldur's diddly doddlies, my mum could play him at six. <laughs> Commentators should be a little, you know, they should be nice to people who are making their debut, but Jeffrey Boycott doesn't believe in that. Shiv Sundar Das was fielding at forward short leg. I tell you. The absolute kiku, he's dropped an absolute kiku. If I was the captain of the Indian team, I would have given a walk on his back. Now they told him, go home, play simple stuff, don't play cricket. This is international stuff. <laughs> he loves Saurav Ganguly. The ah, Prince of Calcutta, every time I meet him in the lobby, I tell him, pitch it up, pitch it up, that's the key. If you got to be a butty bowler, you got to pitch it up. Remember, you're the Prince of Calcutta. If you got to be the King of Calcutta, you got to pitch it up. Sort of Ganguly's batting style is extremely funny. You know, all these cricketers, Vivian Richards, made sure that their bum was noticed while their batting was there. Here's Ganguly. Now, Parthiv Patel said that, you know, if Ganguly can do it, if I have to be in the side, even I have to do it. But he has a small, so what he does is, his action is pretty interesting. <laughs> That's Parthiv Patel for you. If you remember Ijaz Ahmed, he used to do something really weird. Very interesting, but it's, I mean, if you do it to a Paul Adams who doesn't see you, it's fine. <laughs> so we come to <clears throat> int one interesting part, which I think I'll enjoy doing the most, is about three people, Kapil Dev, Sunil Gavaskar, and Vivian Richards. All three pictures I have in my house, but I'll concentrate on Mr. Gavaskar first. Before that, just one thing. I have never understood that every Kapil Dev poster I've had is like this. <laughs> God knows if there's any reason behind it. Glenn McGrath. <laughs> okay, now Sunil Gavaskar. Now Sunil Gavaskar's walk, actually, you know, it tells us what this man is all about. No negative, sir. Attitude, charisma, style. I happened to be working with him and you know, that walk I used to observe while sitting at the desk as well. Now the walk that he had while coming out and taking that catch and putting the ball in his pocket was equal to the one after he scored a, probably 100 at Lord's and equal to the one he got the you know, book inside the office. I'll show you how the walk is. Here's Sunil Gavaskar. The only difference was while he had the book, it was like this. <laughs> Vivian Isaac Alexander Richards. Here is a Vivian Richards walk. Jack Nicholson, absolutely. <laughs> I would never bowl to him. 
coming to inter well i've been told to shut off this show but i've just got come to know that navjot singh sidhu is on air and uh, sidhu are you there sidhu well uh, <laughs> navjot singh sidhu this is a very important moment some media people said you were the worst fielder in the history of the game how would you react to this statistics also prove that you were the worst fielder ever is it my dear friend tony that's wrong Statistics are like mini skirts. They reveal more than what they hide. I was a bad fielder. They used to call me the gateway of India, but I learned from my mistakes. I went to John T. Rhodes and I took inspiration. I was like a baby in a topless bar, but I'm today as strong as a bazooka. That's the way to go, Tony, my friend. You can take a lion out of Punjab, but you cannot take Punjab out of a lion. After Navjot Singh Sidhu, I have nothing to say, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much.